A Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a disturbing statement. We only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the video. The Cobb County police officer who made the controversial comments to a woman during a traffic stop says he will retire. But his police chief wants to start the process to fire him. Anne Marie Green is here with the video that could cost the veteran officer his career. Anne Marie, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. Well, the dash cam video that has just been released shows a traffic stop from July of last year. The woman in the video, who is white, told Lieutenant Greg Abbott that she was afraid to reach for her cell phone, and the officer's response is not reassuring. All the videos you've seen, have you seen any white people get killed? During a traffic stop, Lieutenant Greg Abbott can be heard telling a woman that she needs to call the person who was picking her up because she's being arrested and taken to jail. Use your phone. It's in your lap right there. I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? Abbott's lawyer said in a statement that the 27-year police veteran was attempting to de-escalate the situation after the woman said she was afraid to retrieve her cell phone. He said Abbott's comments must be observed in their totality to understand their context. No matter what context you try to take those comments in, uh, the statements were inexcusable and inappropriate. Yesterday, Police Chief Mike Register, who was not chief at the time the video was taken, said the department has opened an internal investigation. I don't know what's in his heart, but I certainly know what came out of his mouth. CBS law enforcement expert Paul Violas says that the woman was clearly in fear and Abbott's comments were out of bounds. If you're really concerned about officer safety, ask her to step out of the vehicle, step back, ask her to step in front of the car, retrieve what you want underneath the seat, and then, and then give it to her. But you certainly don't do that. The incident occurred four days after the death of Philando Castile, who was shot five times by a Minnesota police officer in a St. Paul suburb. Don't pull it up. Viola says statements like Abbott's put up a wall between police and the community. We're in a society today where police and community are trying to mend, and that type of behavior is going to do nothing but cause problems across the board. Abbott is currently off the department payroll and has been notified of his proposed termination. As a supervisor and lieutenant, Abbott was in charge of reviewing the dash cam videos for his unit, which raised the questions about why the video is just now coming to light. Maurice. And Maurice, yeah. thanks so much. A lot of figure questions Training there. suggests a lot of other ways to diffuse a situation, clearly. Yeah, but what I don't get is how watching it in its totality would make that more understandable. It seems right. the more you hear, the worse it actually gets. The what chief else? was right. It's what came out of his mouth. Yeah. Now, what else is there to hear? Hey, guys, and welcome back. Uh, yes, uh, today we are going to discuss, it was a Georgia police officer. Uh, he retires before he's fired for saying we only kill black people to a driver during a traffic stop. Yes, this was uh, uh, in Cobb County. Um, it happened in June of 2016. Um, this officer's name was uh, Lieutenant Greg Abbott. And uh, his dash cam video uh, obtained him saying um, that, remember, we only kill black people. We only kill black people, right? Well, the situation, this uh, Abbott guy, he uh, pulled a sedan over on suspicious of uh, a DUI and told a woman in the passenger seat to use the cell phone in her lap. Uh, the woman tells this Abbott, the 28-year-old police veteran, I'm afraid to move my hands. And she goes on and say, I just seen way too many videos of cops. And before the woman could say any more, Abbott cuts her off. He said, but you're not black. He says, remember, we only shoot black people. 
all the videos you've seen, have you seen black people getting killed? He asked the woman, to which she says, right. Well, Abbott was put on administrative leave uh, before his chief announced today that he had begun taking actions to fire him. Um, his, uh, this police chief, Mike Register, said there's really no place for this type of comment in law enforcement. He told a news conference this today. He said uh, they were going to go through the procedure to fire this cop. Well, Abbott got the news of uh, him getting uh, 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 getting the axe. So, Abbott sent an email to officials announcing his retirement. And uh, an attorney representing the driver in the DUI case said Abbott was likely being sarcastic because the woman gave him some lip. Uh, but that still doesn't take away from the horror. It makes you cringe when you hear it. It's unacceptable. That's the um, driver's uh, lawyer said. Yeah. Uh Good. Oh, 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 yes. I, uh, we do have Russell in the studio today, so we're going to uh, uh, let him comment on this situation in just one moment, okay? Um, right. An internal police review also said Abbott was being sarcastic, though the police chief said that was no, not an excuse. Uh, the police chief said he felt that no matter what context you tried to take those comments in, the statement was inexcusable and inappropriate. Well, that was very convenient for him to retire before he was fired. And remember, this has been this has been over a year ago. I don't know what took so long, uh, but uh, that was really convenient. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. I agree, Russell. I really I mean, do. What did he do? They held back the paperwork. Right, and he's been on uh, administrative leave. Um, they didn't say with pay, but I'm sure it was with pay. And, you know, they probably waited until he reached the age of retirement to that announce his firing. Uh, it was a favor because there it is right there. Yeah. I mean, there's a date on the dash. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. I mean, where has it been? Mm-hmm. You're right. And why did it take so long? And, uh, I mean... Pretty convenient. It was. I mean, Russell, have you ever been fired and it took a year for them to announce that you're going to be fired? Well, yes, I have. And uh, the other guy, he, I didn't get fired. Uh -huh. The other guy, they escorted him off the premises. Mm. But it didn't take a year, did it? No. They just snatched him up. No, huh? they just, just took him right away. Just called security. Just escorted him off. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I agree with the chief. There's just, this is unacceptable. Yeah, but that's what he's saying, but it's been over a year. All right, right. He's saying that, but his action is different. Why did it take a year? He probably was... It, that, it's time for him to retire. So now he announced, because simultaneously after they announced they were getting ready to fire, he says he announces his retirement. So that was pretty convenient. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, you, you, get, you get fired, then you, you don't get fired. Right. You can retire, then you get fired. I mean, I mean, what is it? You got fired or you retired? What is it? I mean, come he, on. He shouldn't have been able to retire. I don't think so. No. He, he was fired, remember? Right. 
Right, right, right. So, and uh, I don't know about you, but I hadn't heard this in the news. Yeah, you know, him being sarcastic, he goes into detail about what, what you see on TV. Right. And then what makes it so crazy is, didn't he know his dash cam was on? Didn't he know that this conversation would be uh, taped. Apparently Don and Don wasn't even doing it. No, no, no. Mics. They, they've been putting mics in the uh, grill. Hmm. Well, well, they need to. I mean, he's probably said these uh, outlandish uh, uh, racist comments a lot, you know. So, uh, I, I, uh, I uh, do agree. And they said that the uh, local NAACP head, uh, and they said. Mind if I chew? No, oh, you can go right ahead and chew. Yeah. Here's a cup. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, but they said the NAACP head, Deanne Bonner, uh, said, although we applaud them for their transparency in this regard, the officer's interjection of race into the stop was particularly troubling and may be systematic, a deeper issue in the department. But, uh, I mean, that's it. That's it. There's nothing that anyone can do. Uh, but uh, this guy's going to retire. So, you know. Well, it's one of those things. Yeah. Well, at least he won't be. That's that'll be one less um, racist cop off the force, oh, <laughs> stopping yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Russell. Thank you for coming in and. And being able I'm to sorry I couldn't shine more light on that. Uh, it's oh, just uh, you did. It bothers me. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. You know, just you no. Know, this guy here is he's, he's he's trying to act like he's being sarcastic. Mm hmm But then again, he's being a butthole because I mean. Yeah. He's going into detail about what it, what's shown on TV. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So he's uh, serious about it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it shows you what kind of cop he oh, yeah. was. Glad mm -hmm. he's gone. Yep, that's one less uh, racist cop we have to worry about. Okay, and like I said, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio, Mr. Russell. I've enjoyed it. Good, good. My good. pleasure. Good, good. And uh, I want to hear your comments about this story. I mean, uh, do you think that he was just trying to be sarcastic and we're just over-dramatizing this situation and, and the fact it took a year, over a year, to announce that they are um, starting started to implement firing? I mean, I you know, all the jobs I worked for and I saw co-workers get fired it didn't take but one day. <laughs> it went. It didn't take but one day. But for over a year, you know, that's 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 not good. But I would love to hear your comments about this uh, segment. And as in parting, be blessed. Bye.